Spring has sprung across western Oregon. Take a look at that. Warmer and sunnier for sure, sending the trees and shrubs into full bloom this week. KVAL Chief Meteorologist Josh Kozar joining us live now to explain how our nostrils are affected by these beautiful spring blossoms. Josh. I know. <laughs> uh, maybe it will give you a sick day tomorrow too so you can get out and enjoy the little last bit of sunshine that we'll see this week. But of course all of those trees and shrubs blossoming and the daffodils that's sending our tree pollen counts up to 18. That's the moderate level and expecting to hold tight onto that through the end of the week. Although the rain does help a little bit kind of bring all of that pollen back down to the surface of the ground. As far as the spring conditions go across the United States moving from the south to the north with those buds. For our case, it's from the west to the east across western Oregon. Now, the first day of spring just right around the corner. We all get to celebrate that in the wee early morning hours on Saturday. 237 is when we bring in that new season. And with spring, we see a little bit of everything across western Oregon. And we started off the day with the fog coverage that finally lifted, giving us those sunny skies once more across the region. And that did allow our daytime highs to warm up into the low 50s up and down the I-5 corridor. 40s found out and along the shoreline. As for the colder conditions, we're going to see kind of a rinse and repeat scenario from this morning. Tomorrow morning with a frost advisory for much of Coos and western sections of Douglas County goes into effect tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. and lasts through 9 a.m. as several systems spin out over the Pacific Ocean, taking aim at western Oregon. They come in the form of not only a low pressure system, but a cold front. So that's going to be putting a bit of a damper on our daytime highs as dry conditions remain for at least one more day. But we will start to see increased cloud coverage due to that system tracking its way to the north and east. But I want to pay close attention to our friends down in the southeast. A low pressure system definitely giving us a cause for concern for some enhanced risk of severe weather in the red shaded areas. That's where we have the potential for damaging winds, large hail, and even the threat of a few tornadoes. Closer to home, though, we will see calm, quiet conditions for tonight. A bit of patchy fog to develop in the Umpqua Valley. The clouds tomorrow, they will start to increase all across our region by about 3 a.m. On Thursday morning, that's when the first few raindrops will fall out and along the coast, pushing their way further to the east, eventually turning to snowfall over the Cascades. Just another sign that the spring season is still here in Oregon's high country. Next 48 hours, managing to put down anywhere from a tenth to two to three tenths of an inch of rainfall. Of course, the brunt of the rain will be Thursday morning into Thursday afternoon. Daytime highs returning to the upper 50s, low 60s tomorrow. Eugene Springfield, seven day forecast. Hey, St. Patty's Day tomorrow. Be sure to wear your green as highs approach 60 degrees. That cold front knocks our highs back into the low 50s when we should be right around 56. That first day of spring, Saturday, it's going to be a wet one with slightly drier conditions on Sunday. Just the same for Coos Bay as we bounce around the low 50s to the upper 40s come Friday. Umpqua Valley 7-day forecast, 60s tomorrow. We fall back into the 50s for the rest of the week. 